Hey man, what's going on guys, man? My name is John Hicks. I'm the owner of Matching to the Floor Trend. And right now, man, we recording. Man, you guys are with me, man. Today I'm out. I'm doing a courier job. And a courier is something that you can do with your SUV or, or pickup truck. And you know, you get out, you know, with a good courier gig, you possibly could make up to $200 a day. Or if not more, you know, it just depends on your hustle and what, what you do and how you market it. It's all about marketing yourself and like what you do and, and going on Craigslist. You can, you can start by Craigslist ads on different courier jobs and just type in courier. I think it's C-O-U-I-E-R. And just type that in, man, and just like see what you see, man. You get out here and just use your your, your vehicle. You ain't got you do no Uber, man. You got a truck or something, man. You get out here and you can really get to it, you know. And that's what we're doing today, man. Right, man. Yes, sir. We just ride. Nice little way to get out, you know, and make you something. Ain't nothing wrong with making you a little something. So we're back to it. Man, I say it all the time, man. I'm trying to advance my skill set. That's crazy. DOT got this this guy pulled over right over there. That's crazy. And got a car pulled over, man. This guy is bad, man. He had a car and a and a commercial vehicle pulled over at the same time. So somebody's getting a ticket, man. Somebody's about to get a ticket. Man. But that's what I was saying, man. Like, yeah, I'm really trying to advance myself and gain a new skill set and stuff like that. And um, I'm 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 really trying to I'm trying to push myself to to do better with, with you know my own mechanics so I can self sustain my my own self better. And and so like like you know I'm I'm doing stuff like I I I'm supposed I'm so far back on recording. Like I was supposed to shoot um, the turbo install. I did a turbo job on it. I, I did the water pump on it. Um, I changed out a couple gaskets and seals on it. And I was supposed to do the shoot, but just got busy, tied up, and just just a life happened, and I couldn't I couldn't get the footage. But I still have the six seven video coming to you guys when we do the install on that so we're just waiting on that to get out the machine shop now so back to what i was saying man even doing your own mechanics man it can get expensive i'm talking about like really really quick and and and, and then sometimes you you ask yourself you like well like is it the shop so is it just me not wanting to pay that type of money like to be honest with you because like you you ask yourself you say okay with well, the parts like you say a turbo turbo on, on my freight liner it costs like two thousand dollars man and you like oh my goodness oh my goodness two thousand dollars it's like, well, you know, it's a, you know, it comes with the territory, but still at the same time, you know, you still like, oh my God, like, man, you, you just, you know, you don't want to break down and do it, but you have to. So, you know, I, I, I bought the turbo, I did the install. It wasn't that bad. It was like seven or eight bolts pretty much at the top and just making sure you're taking off the breather and everything like that. And then just taking off everything so you can see clearly, like that's, that's the main thing, what you want to do. You want to see clearly. Um, so after you you pretty much take the breather off, the turbo is exposed, and like I said, you're going to see everything that you, you're going to need. And then if you take, uh, oh my goodness, I do believe uh, the 10 mil, uh, 12, 12 point stars, and you just take off four, four, 
I think it's like four or five boats. And like I said, mind you, this is on an 05 freight line of Columbia. So like, your truck may be different. So just, it should be pretty much the same. But like I said, you'll see the star boats on the backside and you just take them off and then boom, your turbo gonna come down. You're gonna be good to go. And then get you another one, put it just back up the same way. Star boats gonna hold it. And then you go seven boats at the top, put your breather back on it, slap it together. We're gonna be good to go. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be good to go. So, like I said, back on this courier thing, this is, I mean, it's cool, man. Like, like, I, like I said, I've been doing it for like two years at this, this one place. Like, so, I mean, so people like know me here and, and it's cool. Like, cause like, they know I got my own business. So like, they don't, you know what I mean? Like they know if I, you know, if I want to come in, like, they let me come in. It works out for me, man. And your own trials and tribulations, you got to do what works out for yourself. You can't do a worry about what, you know, works out for somebody else. You really just got to do what works out for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, I do courier, I do my own dispatching for my trucks and stuff like, so I play personally like multiple roles within my company while I'm still out hustling myself. You know what I'm saying? So, but I like it though, you know what I mean? It keeps me going, it keeps my mind, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, sharp and, and this and that. And like I said, man, you know, it's just, it's my job, you know? It's like, what, what you do, like, you know what I mean? You, 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 you doing this to, you know, take care of your family, look out, you know, for the future. And, you know, sometimes looking out for your future, you gotta see the bigger picture. Like, it's not the, 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 the small, the small picture, it's the, you know, it's the overall bigger picture, you know what I mean? And, and, and that's what I, I like about what, what I'm doing because it, it, it helps me create the bigger picture, you know? It gives you so many different forms of transportation to look at. Like I said, you got the courier, you got the automotive, and then it's so many more means and forms of transportation out there that you know that you can grasp and tap into because, you know, you're even going back to like saying about the courier. You can, if you have your your Sam's and, and your Dunn's number. And and yes, that that's the thing where you can just pull it directly for the military. You can use those numbers and identification codes like to pull freight, you know, and stuff for the military. It's a very difficult thing, you know? So uh, don't just think you just go get your Sam's number and stuff like that and you're gonna be hauling freight and go getting this stuff in the military. It is very, 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 very difficult to get in. And it is the bid and war down to it. It almost seems like if you don't come with everything to do the job, like you're not going to get the offer. If that's crazy, but that's neither here nor there. Like I said, going back to the, the courier thing, you can you can tap into the military. You can you I, I was talking to a gentleman one time that was doing this. He was he was had he literally like was courier service. Like he literally just went by and just took people invoices. So like you say you get billed out, right? So your company is closing the invoice. He just goes picks up the invoices and takes them to the bank so the the bank can cash out who's the recipient recipient of the money like so it's crazy like how how this courier service like really is like you really look into it man you can do a lot to it you 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 you'll find that it's more than just like going to the bank and and you know making a deposit like you know what I mean it's, it's probably somebody behind the scenes that has a third party company that's doing something or some type of service for the bank and, that, and that, that's 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 the crazy part and that's that's what I love about about business is it, it, is the is the is the is the behind the the scenes like you know what I'm saying like you really you know what I mean you see what's in front of you but you don't really know what's going on behind the scenes and that's that's what I love about business that's what strives and makes me to keep pushing and for, for more like I mean you know as an entrepreneur you know you have your downfalls and you have your your your, your you know your times that you up and, and that's what you're supposed to do it I mean because it's a learning curve if you came in 
possessing all the knowledge of how to be successful, like what what would be the, the purpose of the journey? What would be the victory of the journey to say that you just finally just you just at the top, you come in at the top and you just there? Like what how can you say that you really won if you never was in the game? You know, and, and, and that's that's why I say, you know, it going back to the, the transportation thing, you always gotta try to tap in to um multiple avenues of, of business. You can't just just be one track minded. And um man, we're gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna take a break on my filming right now because I'm gonna soon be at the warehouse, man. I'm gonna show y'all the warehouse right here, man. It's chill look. Look, 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 gigamo, you know, it's a, it helps me out on the back end, you know, every, everything is a help, man, don't never, don't never be too proud or too big to, 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 to reach out for more to say it's for help, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people miss out on the opportunity to be successful because they pride too big, you know what I'm saying, like, they say, uh, a, a, a wealthy man, like he don't really possess pride. You know what I mean? I mean, it's either you know a deal gonna work or a deal not gonna work. You know what I mean? And you really can't like stress it no farther than that. That's what I personally believe, and that's my feelings about you know something like that. You know, it's either the chemistry gonna work and we gonna move forward, or the chemistry not gonna work and then we just gonna both part ways. So. Other than that, you're not gonna spend a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of words going back and forth with a person. So, I'm gonna turn this around. And I'm gonna show y'all this right here. Mind you, we just came like maybe 30 miles from the house. Man, it'd be so crowded up here, man. See, person, like, when I like to pull up... I just like go around, so I just like be low key. I just like go in and you just go right on around. You just come on right on around and you just park on the back side. Come right on around. But it's like Mac Hike 4, like. So, you know what I mean? You got so many Ford parts and stuff like, just, just parts just everywhere. It's crazy. Like I said, man, you know, it's not a bad little gig for you to say you'll be a nice 1099 employee so that you can file your own taxes and stuff like that. And you can, you know, be in control of your own money. This is a uh, independent contractor type of job, so you control all your money. You don't buy to take out your taxes. You are your own person, so you take out your own taxes. So, hey man, I'm gonna get back with y'all. I'm gonna go load up. So, all right now.